Yo guys, and welcome back to Anthony's Espresso Equipment. Today we are being treated to the Quick Mill Rubino. Almost messed that up, but we are good to go. We have the Chiato E5 SD single dose grinder, which is absolutely gorgeous, and a beautiful pair and package for the Quick Mill Rubino. Obviously going to get us a great drink every single time because of all the amazing functionality and the single dose, which Chiato does to a T, unlike any other company. So. We're gonna be doing a separate video about this in the near future, so stay tuned for that. But today our focus is the Chiado. Is not, <laughs> we're not doing the Chiado. We do the Quick Mill Rubino. So, very excited to crack this open, actually test it out. Now, I don't have the perfect skills and expertise, so Julian today is going to be helping us out on his last day at Anthony's Espresso. So, I want to say a farewell, but he's also going to be helping us out. So, we are very, very fortunate. And then tomorrow, we are going to be doing a handful of different videos with Shepard as well. So, bringing in all the guest characters once again. Um, but let's get right into talking about this amazing machine and then make a few milk drinks like a flat white, a macchiato, and then a cappuccino as well. So to kick it off, the nice part about this is as we can open up the top right here, which is a little bit warm right here, we have, as you can see right on top, is a 1.8 liter copper boiler. So what this is gonna allow us to do is, it's not a large boiler like some of the other machines are, but because it is a single boiler system, this is going to allow us to get a good steaming power out of the steam wand, so the steam wand, and then the water pump as well. So a pretty big boiler considering the actual size of the machine. And it's nice to see that in this quick mill model. Now, even if we come over to the front, like we were just talking about before, we have a steam wand and then we have our water wand, which are both stainless steel. The entire machine is a beautiful stainless steel construction, but more importantly, we don't want to be getting scratched up on the steam wand or the water boiler. Um, so stainless steel on both of those as well with the little movable handle. Now, it's just a, it's a single wall for both of them. So make sure that you're using the rubber piece here. You can burn your finger. It does get quite hot, obviously. We're gonna be steaming out of these. Now, as I said, as we are opening up the back over here, we have a quite large three liter water tank, which for some machines is 2.5, 2.6, 2.7 is pretty standard. So having a three just gives you that little bit of extra room. That's quite nice. Now, some other machines, uh, particularly some of the Bezeras as well, have four liter tanks, which is quite large, but obviously form factor like the Magica changed quite significantly. So in a nice compact machine like this that you can still put on your counter, it's good to see that we have a full three liter tank in here. Now, something simple as well for the water is going to be the magnetic sensor in the very bottom. So when we open this up, there's a sensor at the bottom that's going to tell us based on the weight of the water remaining how much water and then it's going to indicate us at the front if it is time to actually change the water out for new water and then fill up the tank which is fantastic now to actually heat up this entire machine obviously so we said this is a single boiler but is a heater block system so the actual block mechanism inside the boiler functionality is what is going to heat up the entire machine get it to temperature get it to steaming get it to hot water pressure and then from there, it's gonna pour a perfect shot of espresso and allow you to get to the right gauge every single time with your gauge meter over here. But that heater block system is different than some of the thermal block systems, but the heater block system is going to give you a nice even distribution of heat every single time. Now, right on top here, as I said, I did have to be careful, but there are two little handles over here. This on top is actually a cup warmer. So so if you have cups, like we're gonna be using this cup right here for our latte, sorry, for our macchiato, um, these two cups, we are a flat white cappuccino cup. 
you can just place these cups directly on top. This is stainless steel on the top, like I said before, but these are warming up as we speak, which is quite nice. So you can just leave these cups directly on top without worrying of getting anything scratched or damaged and it is gonna heat your cups up. So it's gonna pour an even smoother shot of espresso when the cup is warm. That's how they take the best cold milk warm cup. That's always the best recipe. So I've kind of gone through some of the major points and form factor attributes to this amazing quick mill Rubino. I like just the little touches of having the simple Italian flag on the front. I think things like that make these machines absolutely gorgeous. We've got a bottomless porta filter set up and ready to go. We've got our Tiato E5 set up and ready to go. We've got our milk, we've got a spoon. We're gonna be doing obviously, like I said, the macchiato. So we need to scoop into the milk and then from there, what we're gonna do right now is I'm gonna bring in Julian he's gonna go over some of these amazing drinks and then we'll be good to go hello so today we're gonna go through three different milk based drinks um, using our Mika Caf 100% um, Arabica coffee nice sweetness to it but a nice rich chocolatey texture as well uh, so the first one we're gonna go through is our macchiato so to do this we're gonna use our single dosing grinder and we're gonna measure out 18 grams of coffee Yep, that's good. Then we're gonna get our funnel. Drop our coffee in. Then. There we go. We're just gonna give it a little tap to even it out. Make sure it's nice and flat. Do our tap. So for a macchiato, what we're gonna do is we're gonna pull our shot, then we're gonna steam our milk and just stain the surface with a little bit of a nice marshmallowy flow foam. So we're gonna get, start at the surface. Now, normally when you're done steaming cappuccino foam, just let it sit so the milk and foam can separate. And our macchiato. Awesome. So next we're gonna be making a flat white. So it's gonna be a shot of espresso, ground at 18 grams, um, with a very thin layer of steam milk to it. So they'll still have a little bit of foam, but not as much foam as a cappuccino or a latte. So let's get started. Again, let's give it a tap. Use our leveler just to make it nice and flat. About 30 pounds of pressure. For fly white, we don't want to include that much air to it. Want to make sure our milk is just nice and thin, not too much air. Finally, we're gonna end it off with a espresso shot. So what we're gonna do is again, dose out about 18, about 18.2, just to give a little bit extra flavor and texture to it. I'm gonna dose this out, get our funnel ready. Now I will be dosing out more for a double shot of espresso. So a little bit more concentration and flavor. Give it a little temp. Again, get our leveler, so this way the surface is nice and flat to avoid any um, channeling. Give it a nice temp.
go. There we go. Okay, so we have made a handful of drinks. Now, we would have loved to have made a third drink, but we just didn't have the right milk to do so. So, glad we got a chance to actually make some of these drinks. As I said before, this cup is now hot. This has been on here the entire time. It's crispy. So, uh, always want to make sure you pour it into a nice hot cup when you're doing any of these fancy, fun drinks. Obviously, we've got our espresso shot here. It's hot, but that is lovely. Absolutely delicious. So I'm gonna need this, it's gonna be a long day. But if you did enjoy this video, hope you guys check out the rest of the channel. We have a lot more videos to do in the next few weeks as well. So stay tuned for the review of this as well. Um, if you did enjoy this video, make sure to like, subscribe, and have fun guys, and we will see you next time.